During that sort of period where I had dropped out of business school and made the transition to art school, it was pretty tough, I think, mental health wise, because, you know, at home, like, especially in a lot of like South Asian communities, parents don't understand why people pursue arts. And like, it's not seen as like a career where you have stability. And when you're put in a place where it's like, I need to make it, you kind of have no option. So I'm Pranavi. My artist's name is Not Sorry, and I like to create work that speaks to the South Asian experience. I actually started my journey in business school at Laurier, and when I realized like this conventional path I was following wasn't aligned with like what I wanted for my life, I kind of spontaneously dropped out at the end of the year against my parents' wishes. And then um, during that time, I'd also applied to OCAD. I went there for graphic design. I would just like post my work once in a while on like social media. And then after like some traction built, my career was just evolving on its own. So Not Sorry is actually a name I developed in university. Um, so I had like a project where the kind of like, I guess, brief was to create a brand. Um, and I wanted to create a brand that was like really unapologetic. I came up with Not Sorry, kind of off the play on words, sorry, not sorry. One of my best friends since high school, Sonia, when I told her kind of like, just on one of our talks while we were at um, Laurier, I was like, I really want to apply to OCAD and like, I don't know. And she was one of the people in my life that like really pushed me and was like, do it. Like she really encouraged me. And a lot of other people that I was sort of getting opinions from were kind of like, oh, maybe just finish this program and then kind of, you know, do whatever. But there was like really key people in my life that kind of helped guide me to make that choice and like myself and my best friends from high school actually came together and created the program Parve, which aims to empower South Asian youth who identify as women or non-binary people. And we wanted to create a space where we encourage them to pursue a creative career and give them a lot of the guidance like that I sort of like found along the way, just so that they can be better prepared to enter these industries, hopefully a little bit faster and be able to like speak to their parents and show them like different mentors that are doing like creative careers successfully. And that's one of the give backs because I just wish that existed when I was younger. So this is, it's not the final one, but this is just part of um, the illustration I did for a TFC jersey project. And I wanted to just create something that was like both feminine and like loving and like representing growth, but also that strength and that kind of hard edge that a lot of us have. I think work in progress is literally kind of like understanding that like life is just like goes in waves. I know there'll be ups and downs and it's kind of like riding those waves and being present when things are awesome are happening and then learning from when things that are not as good are happening and whenever I'm in a low point I'm just like this means that something good's gonna happen because I'm on, I'm on the wave.